Namaste beautiful yogis today I am coming on here to tell you about my antiviral protocol in detail so prepare to watch this video with a cup of tea when you're doing something although maybe it may be a little bit of um, on the information heavy side I will post an article with links and with a list of all the products or all the herbs and things that I will mention and you can just educate yourself, read a bunch of articles on the subject, study it and create a protocol of your own. Everybody has to customize things, different uh, quantities, different combination of things and with herbs things can be quite fluid it is not um, a, an exact science it's more of an alchemy type of um, finding the thing that works for you that will also help you evolve your mind and um, creative mind and it will awaken your self-healing potential because ultimately you should be your main healer and everybody else, doctors, healers, uh, herbalists, etc. should assist you in that, but they shouldn't be your healer. You should be your healer. If you leave your healing in other people's hands, that is in essence disconnecting from your body, saying your body is not your main priority, you're not listening to your body, you're not understanding your body's calls and what is wrong with your body you don't you don't get the little calls that no one else would get so awakening your own body's um, awareness of your own body is key and that is a process if you're not there you're not supposed to ever be there you are um, always meant to be learning and awakening to that all right so that was <laughs> massive a massive intro but I just wanted because this video is heavy in information and I will most likely miss a few things but I'll try to get you to the to explain the the main the main things now why antiviral protocol um, we uh, you can go listen to the medical medium on this uh, he uh, has good uh, lectures on viruses and uh, modern diseases Back in the day there was Bob back, Bob back talking about viruses and just uh, different um, uh, organisms living in the body. We are essentially built from bacteria and organisms. It's just a matter of the balance of that bacteria and what takes over. The rest we want to keep a good balance and a healthy balance. Uh, but nowadays there are different viruses that evolved, modes that evolved and bacteria that evolved due to the use of uh, antibiotics, antifungal, um, antifungals and also due to the uh, use of lots of heavy metals in every aspect of our life. So our bodies are bombarded with far more than they've ever been before including electromagnetic frequencies and so forth besides besides the um, the other factors of our nervous system always being stimulated by a lot of data that was never available to us before and less human contact so this video is not going to be about modes because um, I have already done my uh, video on mold cleaning cleanup and although I missed to mention a bunch of things they're going to be mentioned here so this is a good one, a good way to start so um, due to a lot of heavy metals in our body viruses are able to proliferate and actually evolve uh, viruses are evolving uh, and becoming the strains are becoming more intricate to deal with they're hiding in our body for example certain viruses uh, herpetic viruses, fungal issues, they can hide themselves in the skin, uh, in the cells of uh, the body. So the cell has a hard um, shell and the body would not recognize it. Certain viruses can hide there and the body would not recognize it, the immune system would not take care of it. And as having all kinds of mercury in our mouths, arsenic, uh, lead, and such other uh, heavy metals uh, in our body, the viruses have a uh, breeding ground, especially uh, according to uh, medical median Epstein Barr, which I know is a very important one to pay attention to, herpetic viruses in nature, and so forth. So, 
back in the day, certain viruses were around, but they were very benign. They were okay. And nowadays they can, um, they can create a lot of chronic diseases. And that's why the chronic diseases are on the rise. Another thing I want to point out is that a lot of the things that now are um, emerging as information, uh, they're not going to be something that your doctor will know about, unfortunately. Doctors don't stay up to date with things, and a lot of things are still not understood by science or um, studied even. Uh, science is it's in total infancy stage, and although um, there's things that are good advances in science, there's also a lot of, like, middle, middle ages type of, approach in science, like cutting organs off, um, when someone has cancer, attacking them with super acidic substance like chemo, radiation, which burns off the glands and makes the person even sick. So a sick person does not need more acid and uh, or removing organs just to prevent things. It's just This is a form of butchery right now. A hundred years from now, we're going to look back on this time and think, man, this was this was like the Middle Ages. It was like witch hunt type of medical science. And not only that, there is um, a predominant develop. I noticed that a lot of nowadays people, especially like the ones that are considered more intelligent, they just have a very imbalanced mind. The left uh, hemisphere is really, really overdeveloped and the right one really, really underdeveloped. And in the hippie communities, the opposite is true, where the right is very developed. But there is no rational thinking, logical thinking. We have to combine a sign of high IQ, intelligence, logical, analytical, rational thinking combined with intuitive thinking, creative thinking, out-of-the-box thinking have to be combined in order for us to understand things. And when dealing with herbs, especially with herbs, I find it that the, the better we understand, the more we understand to intuit them, to feel them, and that combined with just the knowledge, um, either and there is a big bird fight outside. The more we understand the knowledge that is already out there and we combine it with our intuitive knowledge, uh, the stronger uh, the effects become. Now, with all the products that you may need, like herbal tinctures, herbs, etc., quality does matter uh, and the intention of the producers. So get a high quality everything. I'll try to list things, but also if you know of really, really top of the line products, um, you can list them on my website in the comments because I don't know if YouTube will allow you to list a lot of links. Um, most likely not, but you can mention certain things. But you can get flagged for um, spam. So on my website, you can list uh, links so that I can find other resources of things. Now, with an antiviral protocol, it is good first to pay attention to the basics, how you sleep. So sleep is very important. We only heal and detox during sleep. The next thing is, these are not in the order of importance, just things before I get to diet. Sun, sunbathing in the very morning or uh, late hours when the sun is not strong, so your skin won't burn, but you're getting the benefits of the sun. The sun will regulate your hormones. It has antifungal properties, antibacterial properties. It will set your system uh, to function in a much more optimal uh, way. Um, it can help your mind as well. Mm, uh, water, of course, hydration is very important. Um, my, um, you, a mindset of you will heal. You are um, a positive mindset, but also an empty mind. Both of those combined are very important so that um, you are approaching this from a place of calm a calm grounded space rather than fear and so forth so you want to ground yourself breathing is extremely important pranayama moving yoga uh, intervals uh, also depending on what you can do of course all of those are important and then i'm gonna go into diet and supplements and herbs uh, and i'll list 
a few things in under this video I'll try to write out links uh, I'll list a couple of links but then for just a little more detail come to my website I'll list everything that I can think of and then some and I'll talk about diet there and so forth so I'm making it in a video format and in written format some people don't like to read a lot and vice versa so you have both fronts covered anyways and um, now when there is uh, undetected viruses that are undermining your system they can affect your uh, glandular health they can manifest in certain diseases autoimmune diseases neurological diseases um, say fatty uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver uh, certain lung diseases and so forth not everything is viral but a lot of things can be viral and it's good to uh, understand those things uh, that's why detox is so important because we're getting rid of heavy metals but also other pathogens um, that is the most important thing after the things that i mentioned such as breathing moving sleep um, mindset uh, etc that is the next most important thing because it's the thing that we do every day and we have most control of and because foods are herbs they're very healing uh, for, foods are basically kind of like a weaker form of an herb or um, uh, they're less potent herbs so uh, any food matters they're loaded with phytochemicals some foods are just as strong as herbs such as uh, uh, deep colored berries and um, spices and so forth so they they are loaded with phytochemicals or phytochemicals that are still some of them not understood and there is a lot of uh, a lot of um, like say Chinese medicine herbal information on them that is a little uh, a little more comprehensive than just uh, if you read the, the scientific stuff on them. The scientific stuff will tell you, oh, they have vitamin A, vitamin B, but that's not enough to understand how an herb affects the meridians and which parts and body parts of the body will affect, and also the wisdom of the plant. Everything around, we live in a very conscious universe. Humans are not the only conscious aware thing. We live in a universe where everything is conscious not the consciousness we have they have their own consciousness the plants the plant kingdom the plant species um, um, obviously animals and and so forth and us starting to break out of the box of um, social programming or how we were programmed to think is the beginning of our awakening awakening obviously is not a destination it's a process just like everything else that matters or a value so um beginning to break out of the boxes that we've lived in such as for example veganism i find it that people think it is some form of um out there weird and healthy behavior but if you think about it just a hundred years ago uh slavery was accepted and uh, nowadays people consider most people consider themselves not racist and a lot of people again probably most people hopefully consider themselves not sexist women are uh, accepted that they should have equal rights as men but at the same time, those same people that understand slavery and sexism as not okay still understand understand speciesism as okay because that's the next mental box that we have to break out of or um, ideological box. Uh, animals are not here for us to abuse and enslave and um, impregnate, which is in essence rape and we take their babies away so meaning you start breaking out of boxes and under start seeing things with fresh new eyes start seeing things as they are looking at things with a new um with a beginner um, eye understanding that everything around us <sighs> deserves the same level of respect that we do everything around us everything conscious around us i have i, I probably have to move somewhere where i have a little more um a quiet space so um 
that leads me to plant food. Plant food is super important in this. Uh, dairy is extremely challenging to the human system. In, uh, teen, in, uh, in childhood, it causes uh, ear infections, sinus infection, other infections. Then as teenagers, it causes acne and hormonal issues. But then later on, it becomes extremely dangerous because it causes heart disease, uh, heart plaque. And that is very dangerous, as we all know. We're not all meant to age and develop heart disease. But the, the truth of the matter is that everybody has heart disease after a certain age. That is because humans are poorly adapted to um, digesting dairy products. We are not meant to digest them and we've adapted to digesting them, but very poorly, meaning there is a side effect to us digesting dairy products and that is one of the main one is uh, heart disease, but there is many other diseases before we get to that. So plant food as much as possible. If you're not transitioned to plant food, Start educating yourself, start watching all the documentaries, start reading, start experimenting with recipes, start looking at nature with, um, with appreciation, start looking at animals with respect. Give them the respect that human children deserve. Give everything the respect that you would give to your own children, to your own self, that you would want for your own self. And that will reflect back at you if you respect others. They um, it will you will begin to respect yourself more move into the world with an intention of seeing everything with brand new eyes and everything with revered things with reverence so once you turn into plant foods you're going to start seeing the beauty of your food your food will become amazing um, now meat, meat is another thing. Uh, we all find just raw intestines gross, which is a sign of our nature. We're not carnivorous in nature and we don't like a raw, torn up flesh of an animal. Not to mention that we cannot kill a cow with our own hands. So don't, don't, that is just to help you transition towards more plant-based. Plant-based is so important when healing. And I do believe that we're going to transition into plant-based in the next hundreds, thousands maybe, hopefully not, years where humans will let go of that bloodletting. That is a ritualistic behavior on humans that they're caught up in a vicious karmic cycle of causing harm and then that's a kar karmic cycle. So, and it's something that humans participate, other, other other people participate in unknowingly, they don't get it when they participate in it. So we're caught up in the, in the cycle of samsara causing harm, causing suffering and then that coming back uh, to us. So starting to break out the cycles and the mind patterns and starting to introduce plant foods. Now stick here with me, I'm going to get into herbs soon. If you still eat meat, uh, and dairy products, you can still benefit from herbs and uh, plant foods, but of course it's best to uh, transition to a plant-based diet because you, uh, you uh, remove something from your life that is kind of like a um, lower frequency, let's say that, and you, you will want to elevate our frequencies to our thoughts, actions, thoughts, beliefs, etc. Anyways, so plant foods, berries, very dark colored berries, those are just super foods um, for removing the heavy metals, uh, chlorella and spirulina and uh, cilantro, uh, sorry, spirulina and cilantro best. Um, parsley, basil, all of those are excellent. Uh, certain seaweeds uh, besides spirulina like uh, those wakami and so forth. I have been loving, just love it because I try to avoid salt, so I love celery juice, which is very salty, full of minerals, electrolytes, super alkalizing for your body. Celery, lime and water, it's phenomenal. And you can make it in the blender if you don't have a juicer. Now, um, European celery is a little bitter, so you're gonna make very little from it and maybe have to mix it with apples or something. 
oranges or something you you may have to create your own version of that juice because it's not the same variety of celery um, lots of water dense foods anything seasonal and uh, and local apples pears watermelons grapes grapes are amazing and I will um, look uh, into a, a, a book pamphlet book called the grape cure that can help you a lot with finding inspiration of how to go into like if you're very sick monomealing and really cleaning up the body um with foods of course salads are very good steamed vegetables potatoes squashes all of those are great so a lot of fruit a lot of veg and some potatoes and squashes that is a, just a great plant seeds like tahini is a good base for dressing cashew dressings almond dressings avocado all of those are great for dressings beans are phenomenal also from the grains buckwheat and millet are very good uh, I don't know about quinoa it's probably uh, here that it's causing a lot of environmental damage because of overproduction uh, so research into quinoa and list below if it's good or not I'm not sure about quinoa I know that a lot of people are allergic to it so I'm not sure about quinoa uh, when you're first healing you may want to avoid dates bananas like the more dense foods depending on how you feel test it in your body eat it if it feels good do it i personally during my healing journey couldn't uh, eat dates and uh, bananas because they probably affected my blood sugar i'm not sure but i would have kind of like um not feeling good after them kind of dizzy and weak uh, which is kind of like a blood sugar symptom which i don't have anymore so once your um, system cleans up it's all good after that um, don't worry about glycemic index because that is very dependent on the fats you're eating and on the combinations of foods it's not it's actually an accurate chart uh, but do um, try to keep your fats a little lower so that your body is detoxing if you're menopausal, breastfeeding, then fats are higher. Olives are really good and antiviral. Um, medical medium is really big on no eggs whatsoever. They feed viruses. So I personally do not like the idea of eggs. They cause me cysts, which shows me that my body is actually actively dealing with it. I think it's more dangerous when you have no reaction to it and the reaction is internal organ damage or... Uh, arterial damage so I think in some ways acne and cysts are a body still having some detoxing capacity I don't know if that's if that's exactly what it is but let me know what you think on that I was just contemplating that everybody that eats um, dairy as a kid has some people have stronger constitution but overall we all respond negatively to it some kids have more colds and more flus some have more infections uti etc and some kids later have acne and others don't the ones that have acne are kind of reacting to a, a damaging food and the others that do not have acne are either detoxing it properly or a little faster or just the body is not recognizing it one of the two and then later on it becomes a bigger issue so really focus on plant foods your body will thank you sorry if you're not plant-based and that is just like redundant and annoying but we can't get around <laughs> without that it's just it's just switching from a culture that uh, abuses um, animals to a culture that doesn't is the future the way we stop finding slavery to be okay will find the same to be true with other species um herbs i will post everything things that i'm forgetting i will post herbs 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 for herbs i will quickly go over the herbs that oregano is the most important one oregano 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 especially with active uh, viral infection then um lemon balm hyssop thyme um, antiviral uh, combinations with licorice in them, osha, lumatium. Uh, licorice is very good and it's also the base of most formulations. Um, those are really good as combinations for um, just 
scavenging, kind of finding viral viruses and removing them. Um, I said lemon balm, Lumatium Oregon grape is uh, great. Uh, cat's claw, very important. Antiviral, really important. There is many more herbs. List them on my website if you have favorites. Use spices in your food. Oregano, basil, thyme, sage, all of those. Use, use spices and herbs. And also I find that hot spices, cayenne, um, Aleppo pepper, those are really good for digestion, for uh, increasing your iron levels, absorption of food, and also they do have antiviral, antiparasitic, antifungal properties. In general, all plant foods have to a certain degree antiviral and antiparasitic properties. Mm, it's a matter of how you combine things, how you use them, and the intention you put in things, uh, really. I find it that if you follow the seasons, eat apples, uh, grapes come in, you eat grapes, you stay for three days on just grapes. That will have a very strong effect on cleaning your body. And, uh, you know, the resveratrol in grape skins would start um, cleaning up certain certain things in the body. Kind of avoid fermented things because they are loaded with um, candida and fungus in them just as a by. Is a, they have a combination of yeast and funguses and things and they can cause candida in the body and cross reactivity in the body. Um, supplements. Um, z z ionic zinc is really important. Uh, maybe uh, boron, selenium, those are important. Um, but ionic zinc and lysine is what I used only. So those two are enough uh, to uh, boost your immunity. Uh, thiodine is uh, a supplement that is used for uh, stimulating the thyroid and also the seaweeds would help with that. Um, try to really, really appreciate your body, gratefulness for your body, talking to your body, doing things that the body is happy about. Like I always feel so kind of giddy when I make myself a green juice, celery juice. I feel like, mm, I'm just doing this thing. It just feels so good on every level. It elevates me. Um, mm, uh, if you have uh, lung issues, nebulizer, glass nebulizer, it's like a diffuser, but something that um, disperses small particles of the essential oil and like a breathing essential oil with lemon and other ingredients. I'll link one, breathing one. Um, you can breathe that and it will go straight into your lungs and that is very very helpful as well i kept breaking my nebulizer so i no longer have one because the glass kept breaking so i'm gonna list one that is really highly uh, listed on amazon that hopefully is way more uh, uh, it lasts a lot longer. I kept replacing the glass and I used it and it helped me when I used my nebulizer and my essential oils. Essential oils, uh, massage with essential oils is very also uh, effective. Um, the superfoods are barley grass juice, uh, spirulina, um, uh, hyssop, I mentioned those. Uh, barberry is very antiviral. Um, so that is the protocol. Just bring all kinds of spices and herbs and foods into your life and then depending on your budget add supplements and add herbal tinctures from the herbal tinctures i mentioned cat's claw lemon balm oregon grape but most importantly oregano from the supplements b12 and the vegan safe uh, has two forms of very highly absorbable um, uh, cobalamin forms of cobalamin that are very highly absorbable so I'll link that in my article. Um, uh, the zinc uh, was extremely helpful for me and the lysine, lysine very helpful and um, miscellaneous soaking in the hot springs, uh, baths, maybe even adding a little bit of borax to your uh, bath if you have fungal issues on the skin. Um, also, borax is very, very good for yeast infection, um, which can also uh, be a sign of certain, of a certain, obviously, imbalance. Uh, 
I think I'm covering all. I'm trying not to make this video forever long and at the same time I want to be informative. I also want to encourage you. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Dr. Morse, he has herbal formulas and there are different herbal formulas for lymph. One, if your lymph is not um, moving, you can't really detox and clean up the body. So the kidneys have to start filtering and the lymph has to start moving and then all the other organs can start cleaning the blood, the liver, the, all of that. But lymph and kidney have to start filtering. So that may be backed up by bowel. So if the bowels are not clean, which again comes with a plant with plant food, if you're eating dairy and eggs and meat, then the bowels are definitely not clean then you have to clean up the bowels. You can get a bowel formula, then kidney and lymph formula. Then depending on your issues, if you have sinuses, headaches, migraines, uh, f hair falling out, that's upper circulation. You're not getting energy up here. So herbal formulas for that, he has upper circ and usually skull cap. Learn to look at herbs and how they look and at things and how they look and where they will go in the body. For example, elderberry has this branches that open up like the branches of the um, lungs uh, so elderberry is another food that is a great, a great antiviral that you can add for a whole season make it yourself make elderberry season if you're in europe we pick it with my mom and we soak it in honey and vodka or um, the local grappa rakia alcohol but you can soak it in non-alcoholic ways like in honey as well Honey, local honey during the healing stage is very antiviral. It will clean up your body. It will spark up your liver to heal. Um, so looking at your body, bowels, then kidneys, then liver, then see if it's endocrine issues. There's endocrine herbs. There is upper circulation, lower circulation if you have troubles with the lower circulation. Epilepsy is an upper circulation issue. Um, Flowers usually affect the emotions and the head. Uh, like say St. John's is depression, but look at it. It looks like the sun. So it's usually seasonal affective disorder is lack of sun. So St. John's look like the sun. But at the same time, you can get exposed to too much sunlight because it makes you sun um, sensitive. Why? Because St. John's in general makes you absorb more sun in the low light seasons so that's why it's super light then you're getting enough sun you don't need the herb but if there's not enough light it will make you absorb it more and when you look at the flower it just looks like the sun um so learning to use your symbolic metaphoric understanding of the world along with rational and understanding science type combining those things but just science is people that just understand science that is that is a sign that the mind it needs to develop the mind needs to open up the intelligence needs to develop we have to learn to use our intuition analytical but also abstract thinking all of those things are very important in us as developing as humans we're not just some people that are supposed to read some text of like some science in infancy and just take that as pure truth that will evolve hopefully soon but maybe not too soon and also stepping away from the paradigm of butchering the body and thinking that the whole thing that depression is a chemical imbalance is not proven it is not it is not scientifically sound. We don't have a chemical imbalance. Usually it's either a, a, a toxicity issue or actually it's a psychological thing, an unresolved thing because a lot of children get abused and they never get to express uh, what they're going through. A lot of children grow up in very unfortunate circumstances and putting them on... Uh, chemicals that suppress their system even further is just going to slow down their healing. So understanding the body holistically and using all that we can, um, all that we have access to, starting with foods that are pretty much free or affordable and then adding some herbs that most herbs are pretty cheap. Make your own formulas if you can't afford herbs. Some supplements. Supplements are somewhat affordable, especially when it comes to your longevity and health. And there are some expensive things, but 
if you can afford them, then get them nebulizers, essential oils. But in general, lavender essential oil, very important and so forth. You can't put a price tag on health and taking care of ourselves is important. Uh, wash your produce in vinegar, water with vinegar or water with baking soda to remove some of the pesticides. And um, I think that covers the uh, antiviral protocol. As far as um, quantities, look at the back of the label of quantity and maybe have a little more of certain things. Research it, talk to someone because no one, uh, no one can give in a video a uh, quantity that is just for everybody. We all have a different diet different needs so experiment and also if you're in a very very now this is for almost this viral antiviral protocol is for people that are kind of with a strong constitution strong health and younger because i on myself experiment a lot i fast when i was 21 i fasted 14 days without like warming up to it or anything on just water but if your body is in a very compromised state and you have a lot of diseases, surgeries, uh, past surgeries, etc., then um, experimenting can make you very sick. So you do need to work with someone. Now, how to find someone? I can't tell you that. It's really difficult. Um, I know there is a few doctors in Los Angeles that are quite on that level, but most naturopaths are not. Uh, so. Maybe I will try to look up resources or if if you know of people that are on that level, like intuitive and a healer level, but also a naturopath or even a doctor or, uh, or psychology major maybe, I don't know, list them below. I know there is one doctor here, Dr. Sedegi, that is very intuitive and works with people on many levels um, but I don't know around the country if there is a lot of those and I know they're quite pricey so if you're in a in a situation where you don't have a lot of resources and also you're pretty sick you can't experiment too much start with the foods that's easy that's safe start adding foods maybe remove the worst foods from your diet and start adding slowly foods but take your uh, health into your own hands into it feel good talk to your body uh, positive affirmations yoga because that will heal you um, the antiviral herbs i started personally with oregano and i added uh, an herbal formula that was called i got it from sprouts it's called kids biotic and it's just a sprouts brand so i found something similar on amazon i'll try to link it in the article on my website but it's just a formula and it's based on licorice also when i had the nerve um i had a, a virus attack my uh, nerves as far as i can tell I went to an acupuncturist and he did a session for my immunity because he couldn't, I was still in pain, so he couldn't go um, into the pain area. But he did the front of my body, a lot on the head, top of the crown of the head, feet, legs, knees, etc. He basically did a, 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 a session for my immune system and he gave me herbs, a really good formula. I will list his information i think he would be open to send you i'm sure because he has sent me uh herbal formulas for me for my dog etc he'll send you stuff and he uses uh such cool uh, formulas unfortunately they're packaged uh, in individual packages as far as waste goes but there are herbs that dissolve in water and taste so good unlike chinese herbs so basically you dissolve packets because he he sends you a, a combination that is exactly for you and always has licorice. Licorice kind of makes all herbs work together and it's also super antiviral. So he gave me an herbal formula that I took for six days. Just he gave me six days supply, which was around $20. And uh, it's really powerful. You mix the herbs in hot water in a pitcher and you just drink four glasses a day and it tastes so good. It tasted actually like caramelly because some of the herbs were good and some were a little more herby but it, overall they were herbs that dissolve in water i'll link his um 
uh, information and he probably would be willing to uh, send you after a quick interview with how you're feeling and stuff he can check your pulse online obviously but maybe he could look at your tongue and your symptoms and he can send you a safe formula that is uh, immune boosting and i'm sure you can go to a local acupuncturist you can um, you have resources that's my point start breathing sun positive attitude moving good food good plant food start removing nasty foods processed food start making juices add a couple of supplements and minimum three herbs minimum oregano oil and a few other i added cascla lumatium the combination but three is minimum but aim for a minimum of five herbs even more uh, and you will see effects. You will see your body starting to heal. Add some um, spirulina, um, barley grass, the greens, um, a green formula, and you will see effects. That is your uh, basic protocol, and you can always deepen it. More uh, Dr. Moore herbs, more uh, herbs that are antiviral, more um, things for cleaning the bowels. Uh, more things for cleaning the kidneys once you get in tune with your body you will know what your next step is you will start looking at your body and the symptoms and you'll know oh i need no doubt oh because when we leave our body in the hands of a stranger we shouldn't be upset if our health is subpar if our energy is somewhat low if especially if that stranger doesn't even take care of their own health many doctors smoke many doctors eat a really unhealthy and in process diet so you get what i'm saying <laughs> that is it from me i will continue writing my article and make sure i will post it before i post this video so i can link it and i love you guys to everybody's health i send you all my love and healthy vibes and i will see you soon namaste